everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kayla. So for this video, I thought I would share my results from the 23andMe Ancestry test that I took. In the past, I have done an Ancestry DNA test, which I'll leave linked up above. But in case you don't want to watch that video, I am going to compare and contrast the results that I received on Ancestry.com to 23andMe and tell you which test I like or which test I prefer in case you are interested in doing your own DNA test. Before I get into the results, I do want to stress that please read all of the terms and conditions when you do the DNA test. There are a lot of fine lines on what they do with your DNA, so please read that carefully. Just don't go into it because other people are telling you that, but I really do stress reading the terms and conditions. If you're interested in knowing my DNA results, then please keep on watching. I thought I would start off this video by sharing my Ancestry.com DNA results just because that's already been done and I want to compare and contrast it to 23andMe. I'm going to post my results right here just so you can see. Now I actually have a more updated version of the results. Some people still do not have the breakdown of Iberian Peninsula. As you see on mine, mine separates Spain and Portugal. There are some that still don't have that breakdown. I would contact Ancestry.com, but from what I've seen on comments that they have provided to other people, that is a slow rollout. So for my 23andMe results, I got 60.9% European. A lot of it is from the Iberian Peninsula. It's saying majority from Spain, while Ancestry said that it was a majority from Portugal. Now, for Sub-Saharan African, I have 19.1%, which is similar to what I got on Ancestry DNA. For East Asian and Native American, I got 15.6%. 13.6% of that is Native American, and it has, like, it, most of that focus is says Puerto Rico, probably because I am Puerto Rican. And then I have 1.1% Western Asian and North African, so it says 0.9% of that is North African and Arabian and 0.2% of that is broadly Western Asian and North African. And I also have 3.3 unassigned. I wonder what goes underneath the unsigned, but maybe that's a region that they don't have covered yet. Who knows? Now something that I actually really like about 23andMe over Ancestry is that they talk, they show you your Ancestry timeline. So the question is how many generations ago was your most recent ancestor for each population? Now for Iberian, which is technically one of my higher percentages, it says three to five generations. And when you click it, it says you most likely have a great-grandparent, second great-grandparent, or third great-grandparent who was 100% Iberian, which I don't think anyone's 100% anything, but I'll, I'll let them have that. <laughs> it says this, likely, this person was likely born between 1840 and 1900. Now you guys can't see, but I actually have a painting back here of my great-grandparents. Um, my great-grandfather was European, he was Spaniard, uh, which makes sense to me. And then the one underneath that is Coastal West African, so it says you likely have a second great-grandparent, third great-grandparent, um, and it says this person was likely born between 1780 and 1870. My great-grandmother back here, her parent, her, and her parents were both of African descent. I definitely want to read up more on how they got that breakdown like how accurate that would be. I know that these tests aren't 100% accurate, but I'm definitely, I definitely want to delve more into my own genealogy to see how all this fits. Now for me, I actually like both tests. I like the breakdown more on Ancestry.com because it really got into regions, especially the European countries, compared to 23andMe. But what I do like about 23andMe more than I like about Ancestry.com is that they talk about the generations and what generation for each region. I did the 23andMe DNA and health test, so if you want to see a separate video on what I got on the health test and my opinion on the health portion of 23andMe, then leave that in the comments down below and I will make sure to film that video as well. I wasn't sure if people were interested in the health aspect of that. If you like these types of videos, then please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. <laughs> you know you want to, or when you do, tell your friends so that you know, we can all be part of this great big familia. As always, I hope you truly enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.